Okay, uh, in this video, I would like to make a tutorial, very simple tutorial, how to use MSC Nastran. MSC Nastran uh, is of uh, first finite element analysis software in the world, uh, which is developed by uh, the MSC company. Uh, because of its heritage uh, and it's also uh, developing with their new solvers, uh, the solver is used in uh, so many industries such as automotive, uh, aerospace, or chemical, and much more. Uh, almost every industry uses it. And to solve uh, MSC Nastran or to make the setup, the post processing and uh, pre processing, we use uh, the Patran software. So uh, we want to uh, demonstrate or to make the tutorial about uh, Patran software. In fact, uh, it is not only Patran, you can also use uh, MSC Apex, for example, to uh, make the setup or uh, pre-processing and pre-processing for uh, MSC Nastran. But uh, Patran is the most common to be used in this uh, application. So uh, this is our uh, user interface for Patran. In the first step, uh, we, we need to make a new database here and save it uh, whenever you like for example here uh, i will make it trial 2 let's see in this tutorial i want to make a simple uh, bracket for uh, just to hang the uh, condenser with its own width it is very uh, simple simple problem actually with only one part just to make uh, you familiar with this user interface okay uh, in the first step we can choose the analysis code or the solver to be used in the simulation uh, as a default it is MSC Nastran or you can use MSC Dytran to solve explicit dynamics or MSC Mark for uh, nonlinear analysis or uh, many other uh, third-party software you can solve with this pattern or you can uh, prepare with this pattern the analysis type uh, is not only structural but you can use thermal explicit and uh, implicit uh, dynamics as well okay just use it as a default and then we import our model uh, which can be uh, for uh, various extensions such as parasolid uh, i guess or step or even stl in this case we will use a uh, guess and we must we must uh, define the units here by set it uh, in my case i use a uh, matter unit okay then we can search our uh, model which i saved in uh, downloads as uh, condenser bracket why in this uh, environment we don't have to uh, define our units it is use the uh, cons consistent unit for example if you use matter and the force will be Newton and the uh, mass will be kilogram and so on and so on Okay, this is our model. To zoom in, zoom out, just use uh, the scroll and to uh, drag, use the shift and uh, middle click and to rotate, use the middle click and uh, drag. We can also change the uh, display here by using this shaded or you can change the uh, background as black or a white background or the default okay then uh, for the first type uh, first step we want to define our material here with the properties and isotropic let's say we want to make a steel material with the input properties as uh, seen here elastic modulus let's say 200 uh, megapascal and gigapascal so we use the Pascal uh, unit so we uh, type it like this 
Then the Poisson ratio is 0.3. Zero modulus will be automatically calculated by these two uh, inputs. And the other we don't have to uh, input it because uh, it will not affect the simulation result. Don't forget to apply. And to make our analysis easier, we can use the tree, tree diagram from home and click the uh, model tree. So we can see that uh, the material is defined here and it will, will always update it uh, when, uh, while we input our uh, setups. Okay, we continue with properties and we define our solid, use 3D, three-dimensional solid. We can also use two-dimensional or uh, one-dimensional. So uh, we let's say we use the part one as the name of this bracket. It will, it will be useful if we use uh, more than one part like uh, assembly. Okay, we can input the properties and choose the steel we have defined and this is very uh, useful if we use some uh, special materials or composite uh, for example but uh, we just need to uh, define this material and the application region we only have uh, one part so obviously we use this part okay and apply it to this part and we see this update here oh sorry i i think i make a typological error but okay no worry about it then uh, next step is to define the boundary condition or the loads let's say we want to uh, constrain this uh, place so it will be fixed to the wall let's say so we uh, type it fixed <coughs> and to define the fixed condition, we input it as 0, 0, and 0. We don't have to input the rotations uh, because this input is uh, per nodes. So we don't, uh, so it will uh, hold the rotation motion from these uh, inputs, from this translational input uh, only. Then we can apply it to a body or to a nodes or uh, surface for example or maybe you can use it like this okay then we want to make this uh, part or this uh, region slide you can make it up and down from this but you can uh, make this part uh, go back and work uh, back and backward you just uh, can make it up and down so we can make uh, another support let's say a slide with the definition only zero in the x direction so we can input it like this zero and then comma and space space is means free and then comma again and space again Okay, we can apply it in the edge here and in the and uh, the and another edge here. Okay. Okay, I think it's all for the uh, constraint. Then we define our load. We can use the nodal load here, but it will apply in every nodes in the surface and we have to calculate the total force from here by calculating the nodes. It is uh, too complicated. It is uh, suitable for only one or two nodes, I think. And if you want to apply a specified, uh, specific force, you can use this total load. Yeah, sorry. Total load and let's say F with the total load let's say uh, in the y direction so zero minus and maybe 1000 newton let's say and zero in the z direction don't forget to put this a negative sign and let's apply it here and here you can hold shift to uh, select more than one surface <coughs> 
okay fine and we can see our boundary conditions and loads are uh, ready defined you can see here the fixed uh, slide and the force okay next step uh, we would like to define our mesh in this case we want to make uh, a very simple mesh with the solid mesh uh, maybe i will make another video specifically uh, to uh, explain about the mesh so let's just use the default just click this part and it will uh, calculate automatically and if you want to make a more detailed uh, simulation you can just uncheck this automatic calculation and uh, lower the the value of the mesh but uh, the finer the mesh or uh, the larger the number of the nodes and elements uh, it will need more time to solve this uh, this case i think it is uh, enough for our demonstration the mesh size then we go to the last part which is the analysis and just click the entire model and just click apply if uh, the default is linear static you can change it in the uh, in the other uh, case just click apply and then you automatically uh, call the msc nas run and it will run it automatically but uh, if you want to uh, make it man uh, to run it manually you can also just type the msc nas run and then uh, you can import the bdf file but you must uh, create it first with the analysis deck but it is a uh, to a long process and it is more automatically it should not take uh, not really long because it is just a very simple case okay uh, maybe I would I will pause it for a while until the simulation is done Okay, it is uh, very fast actually, not until one or two minutes. Okay, now we can import our case by using this access results. It is HDF5, which contain our uh, results such as the uh, stress, deformation, and the other. Just click apply, and we can make the post processing or uh, generate the result here. You can use the fringe or deformation and select the uh, the result you want to display. For example, tensor, stress with the deformation as the displacement transitional. But you see it is overlapping with our model, so we must first make it uh, transparent. Okay, just apply it okay this is our model actually you can make uh, analysis from here by uh, calculating the uh, stress here is for in the pascal so it is about 100 megapascal and you can change the uh, stress for example uh, maximum principle or tresca and many other uh, parameters you can also hide this uh, undeformed shape to make more uh, if you don't want to see this and you can make the part more uh, dramatically uh, the contour will be more dramatic using this element H and color it black let's see okay so uh, you can analyze this with a uh, your own case with the same uh, workflow maybe in the uh, later video we will discuss more advanced topics which are more advanced case okay thank you for watching